Well? Well, um, sir, the tests have shown that in simply a uh, few weeks, we will outnumber the world population two to one at the current rate of cloning production. Okay, judging by my wrist, it is approximately 12 o'clock central time, meaning we have 45 minutes to an hour before 21 finishes his review. So, um, what do you want me to do? Get started on it. Y yes, sir, of course. Hey guys, um, Doofin21 here, and... Yeah, okay, that seemed to fix it. I don't know, it seemed like there was a blurry spot in the middle somewhere. Now it's gone. I don't know. Maybe I was just imagining it. Maybe it's on my glasses. Oh no, but anyways, I'm here to talk about the episode, um, Prince Takes Night. First off, there's no prince in chess, and I'm not even that big a chess fan. I don't know why I got, it just, it just, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense, because there's no prince in a chess set, so... Prince Takes Night isn't really that even that good of a pun. Sort of like how I keep getting onto people when they say... The, the whatever. Um, anyways, this episode. Um, well, this episode has some good things and some bad things. The good things are it ha it gave me one of my favorite villain names for Power Rangers ever. Psychotic. Yes. Yes, it's just because I like saying psychotic. It's fun to say psychotic, psychotic, psychotic. Plus, it sounds like psychotic. And that I'm used to that around here. So, you know, psychotic, psychotic, psychotic. It's like, really fun to say. And then, let's see, what else? Okay, and, well, let's just start at the beginning of the episode. The Rangers are talking about Robo Knight, and how he didn't, and how he wouldn't work with them. And Jake doesn't trust him, mostly because it seems like G is into him. Because, I mean, what girl wouldn't be into a machine, or something I don't know. And, uh, then goes to the aliens. They're talking about how they need to reprogram him onto their side. Theme song. Plus there was the opening at the beginning that happens every time. And then, let's see. After that, um... Huh... Man, I really don't remember much about this episode. Uh, oh yeah, it was like... Psychotic went to a theme park or something. At first I thought the Rangers went to a theme park, which I won was wondering why. But then it was revealed that it was the villain and the Rangers were still at the... Frozen Yogurt Juice Bar. Or whatever. They were at Ernie's, <laughs> and, um, so they fought him at the amusement park, the, how many amusement parks have, like, actual park-type playgrounds? Because, um, I don't really know, I can't really think of any that do, I mean, it, basically looked like an actual park like the playground part of a park but it was supposed to be taking place at like theme park because it showed a roller coaster and stuff and all that and 
it, I don't know, that's not even one of my big complaints with this, um, so yeah, but then Robo Knight comes in, starts attacking the villains, like, the villains totally de defeating the rangers, and then Robo Knight comes in, starts attacking it, and then the monster shoots off some attacks the, towards Robo Knight, but then he moves out of the way to reveal some people, so the rangers have to save the people, because... Robo Knight's agenda doesn't account for saving people, it's just destroying the threat. And, um, yeah. And then Robo Knight gets kidnapped. And then the Rangers try to look for him, except for Jake. Jake doesn't really trust him because, like I said, he, he's mad that G is into the Robo Knight. And because he just can't compete with him. And then, let's see, what else? Um, there's... Then Robonite's revealed to be in a cage that steals his energy if he tries to escape. So, naturally, he does what anyone would do in that situation. He tries to escape. For a long time. Like, literally. They're just talking in the background, and he's still trying to escape stealing his power. They're like talking and he's like off screen and you just see flashes of light meaning he's trying to escape and getting his power sapped from him. Yeah, Robo Knight in this episode's a bit of an idiot. Um because he tries to escape forever until his power is pretty much all gone. And um yeah. That just, um, huh. And so, um, yeah. That happened, and then, let's see, um, uh, what else? Uh, the Rangers try to look for him. Troy finds him. The other Rangers face off against. Uh, Psycho Tick and the Loogies, and then they destroy the Lo defeat the Loogies, and then Psycho Tick teleports to where Vrak is keeping Robo Knight prisoner, and the Rangers appear a second later, and they presumably ran the whole way. He teleported. And got there not long before the Rangers did. Where exactly was their fight taking place? Was it just on top of the cliff and he was too lazy to jump down? Because I'm pretty sure he could have made that jump. Because, I mean, really, otherwise it's just, the Rangers all have super speed. Which doesn't make any sense, but, um, yeah, and then Jake and Gia talk to Robo Knight about how they won't give up on him, and how they always fight for each other, and then Vrak says how Robo Knight gets to, then they get defeated, and Robo Knight says that Robo Knight and then Vrak says Robo Knight gets to witness the end of the Power Rangers. Because obviously, because I mean obviously with Robo Knight being a Wild Force and Ninja Storm, uh, he'd want to see the finale of Wild Force. Because, I mean, really even on its own it's still one of the better finales that Power Rangers has done. Um, and then, let's see, Robo Knight... Decides to reprogram the thing that's zapping his energy to give all the energy back to him. Opening up another question on why didn't he do this earlier. Yeah, Robo Knight's an idiot in this episode. Um, there's really no other explanation. He's just an idiot. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Well, uh, we have, and then Robo Knight 
defeats Psycho Tick the first time, and he, the way he defeats him is he gets Vrak and and Psycho Tick in a in a line with Vrak in front of Psycho, Psycho Tick. He shoots, hits Psycho Tick, but misses Vrak. It reminds me of that scene in Phineas and Ferb on the Swinter episode where they're on like a snowboard and going down it's Phineas, Ferb, Candace and then they go through some things and Candace is the only one affected and they're just all like, what? How, how did that even work? And then it's just, it, it really didn't make any sense. And then the Rangers want to go make the Megazord and fight with Robo Knight, but Robo Knight's just all like, Come on, just, I got this, I got this. And then he gets his Megazord with his other Zords, and he, and the Ninja Storm thing comes into play, because they all t turn from actual Zords, like they always have been doing this season. And, I think, I haven't really noticed it since we haven't been able to, I can't really remember since I haven't been able to see the Ranger Zords in forever. Um, and then, let's see. Um, probably next week will be the one where they, or next episode, I don't know if there's going to be one next week, probably is, but just in case, next episode's probably going to be the one where they team up Megazords, because we have to have another one where it's just Robo Knight, I mean, I know Sixth Rangers usually get overpowered so they can show why they deserve to be on the team for part of it, I mean, especially the ones that come in late in the season, but Robo Knight's just showing off now. And then, let's see, Ro yeah, Robo Knight takes on Psycho Tick and his Megazord and defeats him. Goes into sentry mode after the battle. The Rangers all come up there. Robo Knight explains how he has to work alone because he's a robot and robots work better when they work alone. It reduces chance of error. And while humans can work together, he can't. And then he quotes Gia... Although I have to admit, I never, I didn't catch the line that she said originally that he quoted, so I don't know what part of it he quoted. Um, either that or I did catch it, but I just didn't remember it because there was some other stuff to remember in the episode, and I didn't really bother with it. But anyways, he quotes Gia. Gia says how she, she's joking about how she's liking the Robo Knight, but I know someone's gonna be writing that fanfic. Where she and Robo Knight get together. It's gonna happen now. They made fun of it in the show. It's gonna happen in the fanfics. And if... If by nobody else, I'm gonna do it. Mostly just because it'd be funny. To have Gia and Robo Knight get together and leave Jake in the dust. And then, so then, let's see. And then... Jake's still angry because he doesn't, because Robo Knight just is still not going to work with them. And then they all just decide to go to Ernie's and Jake has to pay for all of them. And that's how the episode ends. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that episode happened. Let's see if any of the clips have come up on YouTube besides the ones that they showed as the previews. Let's see. Um, no, wait. No, not yet. At least I don't have any emails about them. Um, and then let's see. Um, hmm. Uh, what else? Ah, uh, I got nothing. So um. I guess, um, this is Dewey Finn 21 saying bye. I'll move there. Hey guys, 
What's up? Nothing, 21. Absolutely nothing. Oh. Okay. I see. Bye bye. Well, okay. See ya.